Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchard, pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We uh, are in the midst of a, a series of messages on loving ourselves. And we're using David Hamilton's book, I Heart Me or I Love Me, uh, The Science of uh, Self-Love. And he says to us that we can actually we rewire our brains because of a property of our brains called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity. And so uh, he tells us that we, our emotions are really a, a combination of, of uh, four basic elements. The first is the emotions ourselves. That's our natural uh, reaction to uh, stimuli outside of ourselves. And then there's brain chemistry. The chemistry is in our, the chemistry uh, of our brains are the chemicals that are elicited to us uh, through our emotions and other things. Uh, we'll get to the other two in just a minute. But there are, when we feel happy, those are the results of, of um, dopamine and uh, some naturally occurring uh, opiates that uh, help us to be happy, help us to be uh, able to enjoy life more fully. Then there's our, our autonomic nervous system which uh, can be a very uh, mysterious and, and wonderful part of our lives. The autonomic nervous system is, nervous system is how we react to external stimulation. Like, uh, for example, it, that is caused by um, uh, our hands get sweaty when we're nervous or our heart beats uh, faster when we're around somebody we love. All those, uh, uh, all those emotions that we have affect our body. Right, and then the last one is our muscle, and our, our muscles are uh, have are part of uh, this as well. Uh, we have reactions, and our muscles uh, are part of that reaction. Uh, we, um, uh, for example, we we see something that makes us happy, and we smile. You know, the autonomic nervous system would would say is connected our muscles, and we smile. Well, those four things: our emotions, our brain chemistry, our autonomic nervous system. And our muscles are all tied together in terms of how we can change our brain chemistry. That is, uh, you know, change and rewire our brain, which is that neural plasticity. Now, David uh, Hamilton tells the story that when he was in uh, college, it was once believed that the brain was sort of like dough, and it was um, it could easily be molded, and um, and uh, you know it was. It was great to have, but but then, what would happen is uh, it would uh, it would uh, be put into the uh, an oven, and uh, and then baked and, and made hard. It would uh, be it, nothing could change after that. Well, then he writes this. He writes this hardwired notion was actually abandoned twenty years ago, uh, although many still believe it. And that belief does make change quite difficult to affect. But the actual truth is our brain is changing continually and will continue to change until we take our last breath, even if we live uh, until we're over 100. It's called neuroplasticity or brain plasticity. So we can rewire our brains, elicit uh, changes in our brain chemistry that will then interact with our autonomic nervous system, our emotions, and our muscles to to uh, help us with a better understanding of ourselves uh, and 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 how we may love each other more deeply. So I, I think that's a, a, just a marvelous uh, observation that uh, he makes. And so knowing that, I want you to um, think about how we can rewire our brains. And you might want to start with some thoughts about how you have changed over the years. Think of a time when you thought you were not enough, a situation that you didn't handle uh, well during your own self-image. Now you can replay that. You can constantly replay that situation, but with a different outcome, a more positive outcome. And in that, you can begin to create new pathways in your brain that will uh, help you uh, see new ways of doing things. And it's the same with self-love. Think of yourself, how you can change your love. 
we, one of the exercises, and we'll talk about this later, is that we can begin to focus on those things that we like about ourselves. And that will increase uh, our, our feelings for ourselves in terms of changing our brain chemistry so that we have better self-esteem, a better sense of self-worth, and therefore a better sense of loving ourselves. And when we love ourselves, then I think we are better able to love others as ourselves. Let's, uh, let's pray. Gracious God, we do thank you for your time with us uh, this day, for our time together during this devotion. We ask that your uh, peace be with us. We ask that your love be so apparent to us that we would embrace it for ourselves and enjoy who we are as your children. We ask that your grace provide for our every need as we seek to be your people and proclaim you to be our God. May it be so in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, January 31st, there goes this month. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you next month, just tomorrow. God bless.